Today I'm going to be showing you how to use CVBE Outfit Helper Reference Suite. What this does is it creates a uniform body, so as you can see here, most outfits have a dip in the breast and butt. What this uniform body does is it prevents that from happening. So as you can see here, there's a dip right there, and then in the uniboob section, there is no dip. It lays across the breast normally. So I'm going to show you how to use that. First, we need to open body slide. Under outfit slash body, you need to select the outfit that you want to modify. For me, I'm using Femme Shepping's Wasteland Pinups, The Wanderer. I chose this outfit because with the Wanderer text on the shirt, it's very easy to see the difference. So as you can see here, if I make the breast bigger, the text becomes very warped and distorted, so you can't really read it. Well, with the Uniboob, that's going to be perfectly readable. So first what you want to do is make all your sliders set to zero and then click build. Okay, now we're going into Outfit Studio, which is down here in the bottom right. Once that's loaded up, go to File, New Project, and then from here under Reference from Template, you can select which CVBE helper body you want to use. There is the full unibody, no ab spine dips, unimoob, unibutt, and of course no nipple options for all of them. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to be using the full unibody with no nipples. So I select that, click Next, and then under Outfit slash Mesh, click From File, Browse, and now you want to locate the NIF file of the outfit you want to modify. NIF files are usually located in meshes. For me, it's located in Meshes, Femme Shepping, Wasteland Pinup. The Wonder Outfit is this original red.nif file. So I'm going to click Open, and then make sure you have Automatically Search for Texture selected, and Finish. Now as you can see, this looks a little odd, and that is because there are two different bodies. There is the No Nip Full Uni Body, which is the one we are conforming to, and then there is the CVBE body that came with the outfit. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that because it is a duplicate and we do not need it for now. And then I'm going to look around for clipping. And as you can see right back here, there's quite a bit of clipping. So I'm going to select the pants. And then up here, I'm going to click the increase mesh slider. And then I'm just going to fill in until that area is completely hidden. And then once I think it looks good, check the rest of the area. Looks good. So now I'm going to select all of these by just holding shift and clicking. And then go to slider. And then click conform all. Hit OK. Wait for it to load. And now you should be able to move the breast as much as you want. Now, as you can see, I have it all the way 100% on the super huge breast slider, and you can still read the text. So now what we want to do, if you can zoom in on this body, you see once conformed, remove or replace. So that's what we're going to do next. First, you want to click on the no nip full uni CVB section, and then just press delete. Click yes. Now we're going back into file, click load reference and from here we're going to select the CVBE body. Select that and click OK and now it is back to normal. So it is again if we move up the super huge breast you can see first there's the cleavage and it still moves. Now you can see there's a bit of clipping but that's something we'll be able to fix in Outfit Studio after we choose our own sliders and stuff. So now that we've finished with that, we're going to click, select all of these again using shift click, right click on them, and select copy bone weights. Hit OK. And now we're done. So we go to File, Save Project As, and this is what you want to name it. So this is how it's going to show up in the body slide preset selection. 
So I'm going to name it something that I'll be able to easily spot and scroll to. So Z, Z, um, F, W, P, Fem Shepping's Wasteland Pinup, Wanderer, to project. Now, as you can see, it's going to override the original red NIF file, and that's okay. That's what we want. Uh, click Save. And now we're going to close out Outfit Studio and Body Slide so that it has a chance to reload. And then go Open Body Slide. Now we've opened Body Slide back up, so we're going to scroll down and find where we've put our our slider set, select that, and now we can load it to whatever sliders we want. So I'll use my normal slider set, and there we go. Now you can see there's a little, little bit of clipping there, so what we're going to do is after we have our sliders set to what we want them, click Build, OK, go into Outfit Studio again, File, load outfit from file click browse and then select the NIF file again open okay now we need to select the area where we see the clipping so for me this is the top right here and then select the increase mesh size brush and we're just gonna fill that in and ta-da it's done. So now we can click File, Export to NIF, and then select that NIF file again and overwrite it. And that's it. Now you have a completely uniform body, so there's no massive dip like the breasts are being vacuumed in, and it's the same with the pants. It looks much more natural. That's how to use the CBBE helper. I hope this helps.